Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to use any GIF or video as your TikTok profile picture. You can do this on your phone or your laptop, and both iOS and Android devices work since the tool we're using is completely online, so let's get into it. So to use any GIF or video as your TikTok profile picture, go to the first link in the description below and click that and you'll be taken to kapwing.com, which is a tool that you can use to resize videos and then also convert GIFs to videos, since TikTok only takes video files. You can just click Start Editing, or if you're already signed in, just click Start a New Project. And at this point, you can either upload your file if you already have it, or you can paste the link to one. So like, if I click to upload, I will be able to search my photo library on my phone, or you can do this on your computer as well. Um, or you can paste the link to like a YouTube video, a Twitter video, a TikTok video. If you don't already have your GIF, you can search in the Images tab for GIFs and it'll source from Google Images. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use a GIF as my TikTok profile and I'm just gonna search for it. So you can scroll through the options and then choose one just by clicking on it. So I kind of like this cat with the hamburger. I'm gonna click that and then it immediately brings it right within the editor. You can use the purple dots to resize the, the GIF or the video that you're, you're using. You wanna make sure that it is a square. So if you are making a, if you're using a video and it wasn't originally a square, to resize the canvas you can click the outside gray part and then click edit background and then make sure that output size is one by one. So I want this to be perfectly in the center and if, as you can see right now, the cat is not really in the, in the center. So I'm actually gonna move this picture, this GIF up a little bit and then change the background color to black. So I moved it up so the cat and the computer are like more in the center and then I'm gonna click the gray part and click edit background and then choose a black background color. There we go, so now it's like perfectly in the center. So you can also add other things to your video or GIF at this point. You can add like a text overlay just by clicking text. Um, you can click edit text to make adjustments to how it looks. Uh, and you can also add overlays of like images or other elements or shapes. But once you're happy with how your GIF or video looks and it is sized as a square, you can just click the red export button up at the top. And even though this says export image, uh, it's because it's a GIF right now, but it will be saved as a video file. So my GIF is done loading and as you can see, it is actually a video file. And if I click play, it will play like the old GIF uh, did but just in a mp4 format. So to save this to your camera roll you can click download and then you can see that it's, the file type is .mp4 here. Click download again and it will actually first save to your files in the top right corner so click that arrow and then click the file you just saved. Click the button in the bottom left corner and then scroll up and click save video. And now this video should be in our camera roll. So from here you can just go to TikTok and then go to your profile. And to change the profile to the video or GIF that you just used, you can click edit profile and then change video. And you'll be able to choose a video. So I just made this one with the GIF and as you can see, here it is. For some reason, even though it does crop it to one by one, it looks kind of off center in this preview, but when you do save it and it's like finalized, it looks regular. If you used a video that's longer than six seconds, you'll have to choose a six second selection from your video, but since this was a GIF and it was less than six seconds, it just automatically makes it uh, six seconds long. Once you're happy with it, click save, and then it should appear as your profile video. So as you can see, even though in the preview it looked off center, in the actual version it is completely in the center. So just be aware of that. You can also click your profile photo and then share it to other places if you want. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips. We're always looking for more video ideas, so drop us a comment with your video ideas and we will see you in the next one.